this is political dynamite, Mike, down in Australia from the moment that Novak Djokovic got on the plane to go try to win his record 21st major. Of course, he's tied with the Dal and Feder, and we've all been assuming that he's going to end up as the greatest player of all time. Now, remember, he's won the Australian Open nine times. This has gone back and forth. Unfortunately for Novak, you can think what you want to think about the way he's handled it. He's made some mistakes. Clearly, he's made the decision not to be vaccinated. All those things have factored into this decision. But at the end of the day, this is about public opinion and about politics in Australia. And Novak Djokovic has put, become a political pawn down under. Uh, th let's talk about what, if anything, this does to his legacy, because you mentioned it. He's much younger than uh, Federer, and he's younger than Nadal as well. So, yes, the overwhelming likelihood is that he will, when he retires, he will have won the most slams of any player of all time. But, but uh, certainly, he's not nearly as beloved internationally as those players are, as revered as those players are. And now he has this. So how do you expect this, ultimately, to impact his legacy? Well, I don't think it's going to affect his legacy as a tennis player, right? As you said, he's got the numbers to back it up. I, I sort of think of it in the same way we think about Aaron Rodgers. You know, if he, if he leaves the Packers to the Super Bowl, of course, that's going to be great for his legacy as a football player. But what he's done along the way, it certainly affects the way people think of him generally. And so, same with Kyrie Irving. If the Brooklyn Nets win the NBA title, uh, we'll think of him as affecting what they were able to do on the court. But off the court, it's similar for Novak Djokovic. He's going to still, in my opinion, go down as the greatest player of all time when this is all said and done. But his legacy is clearly being tainted by the way he's handling it, by some of the stances he's taken publicly. And I think the big question, Mike, moving forward is, does he play in Australia? So that's still on the table. And then what happens throughout the course of the rest of the tennis season? Because the rules are changing in other countries around the world, including our own in the United States.